What's up, everybody? This is Silent Slayer. Welcome back to another PB Battle League video, guys. You guys, today is like another new team combination for Evolution Cup. This team is suggested by one of my friends, one of my subscribers. Shout out to Dragonat07 who suggested me this team. So today we're gonna fight it. We have Haunter, we have Machoke, we have V Growth, and the move set of Pokemon, guys. Haunter, we have Shadow Claw, Shadow Punch, and Ice Punch. V Growth, we have Counter, Body Slam, and Bulldoze, and Machoke, we have Karate Chop, Brick Break, and Danic Punch. So in this team, I use Haunter as a lead and saves off for V Growth and coverage and finish on Machoke and Cup. Machoke is like a really good for coverage and finisher. So here we go, let's go for the first match. Let's see what opponent have. And guys, if you like new on my channel, so please subscribe and if you did subscribe, so watch my video till the end. It's Haunter vs Shadow Dragon. It's kind of, it's kind of bad strategy. You can see only Dragon Bat can take out my 60% of my health. So let's use the Shadow Punch immediately and opponent just uses shield and he farm it down my whole Haunter health with the Dragon Bat. So I'm, now, I'm gonna let it go my Haunter here and then bring out V Growth and give him like one body slam. If he doesn't use his shield, Dragonair will be gone. Yeah, we got the Dragonair, but as you can see, Dragonair got my like 50% health of my V Growth also, and he have also V Growth. So let's use the shield here. He doesn't know I have like Machok, so let's use the body slam and then switch to our Machok. Yep, just switch to it. Let's farm it down to the cross shop, and he just switched to his Velius, and the Velius is like also weak against fighting type Pokemon because of dark type. He just uses shield. I'm gonna use my shield as well and farm it down two brick back, one for Zevilius and one for V Growth. I hope this one can knock him out. Standard moves of Machok, we have like the cross shop. Cross shop is like legacy move of Machok. But we have V Greg's like also do the damage because of fighting enough. So as you can see guys, it's bad late, but we still win GG for us. Moving on to next one. Haunter versus Haunter. As you can see, Hex. Shadow Claw, sorry, not Hex. Got the Shadow Punch at CMP tie. And we got the opponent Haunter. Let's see what he have here. Like Pillow Swine. So again, let's go for the Shadow Punch here. And I'm gonna bring out my Machoke here because if he switch to Gold Bat, so let's switch to our B Growth. Not gonna use shield. Let's see what he got. It's an Avalanche. And he switched to Florette. So bring out our V Growth here. Let's use the Body Slam. A neutral amount of damage. And I'm gonna use my shield. I have to take him out. Use the Psychic. I can do some little amount of damage on V Growth. Opponent just use his shield. Got like both 1 1 shield left. Again, I'm gonna use my shield. I have to put down his both shield, then switch to our Machok and give him like one brick brick. But unfortunately, he just switched as well. So, brick brick go, go on, Pillow Swine. So let's farm it down. We have to give him like one more brick, and yep, we got the brick back. He just he just come farm it down. I machoke and give the charge move on V growth, but we got the charge move on V growth, and but we got the brick break on machoke, and we got this match. As you can see in this, I just mean like five out of five. Moving on to next one. What does his charger bug? It's in like an average start. I don't know what charge break attack do. So let's use the shadow punch. We do X is off. Haunter can survive when actually let's see not gonna use shield but unfortunately he used discharge directly and discharge to like lot damage on Haunter. So use the body slam. If it doesn't use shield, I think this one can knock him out. But opponent just uses shield. I'm gonna use my shield as well. Let's farm it on his whole health with the counter here. Again gonna use my shield. Another charge move ready guys, like a really irritating. He got three charge move and he got like almost taken out my 60% health of V Growth and he got the V Growth also. Let's give him like back to back body slam. He just used shield again. Let's go for the body slam and then switch to a choke. Yeah, Machoke can survive body slam, so let's see what he got. Obviously, it's in body slam. I think he has something weaker to fighting, that's why he doesn't switch. So let's see what third Pokemon he has. We have like Pillow Swine, so let's give him like Dynamic Punch, and Dynamic Punch is like a one shot for him. Again, GG for us. You can see, guys, Machok is the like best for finisher. Because nobody except like double fighting type Pokemon in your team. That's why Machok is like really great. Haunter vs. V Growth, he just switched to Dragon Eye, so I'm gonna bring out my V Growth safe swap. Let's see what you got Body Slam or Aqua Tail. Not gonna use Shield, it's Body Slam. Let's over farm a little bit and then do the body slam. The opponent just uses shield. Let's give him like one more body slam. And unfortunately, he just uses both the shield on crack and as well. Let's bring out our haunter and farm it down his whole health with the shadow claw. If he 
use the aqua drill do some damage let's use the shield got another charge already i'm gonna use my another shield here let's take the risk let's see what do you have and he just bring his sailor so let's use the shadow punch in machoke we have like the super effective against both his v growth on cello also so it's gonna be like close battle with much of like squishy also let's use the direct dynamic punch directly i hope this one can knock him out yep we got the full health of v growth we need to give him like one more brick and yep we got the brick break at like cmp tie again gg for us guys and much of save our team just like do the best finish here. moving on to next one haunter versus v growth again good start so go farm a little bit and then do the ice punch and v growth can do bulldoze also and bulldoze is like super effective against it, so we have to careful about that so I'm gonna use my shield. I think he go for the directly bulldoze. Yep, that's what I thought. If I doesn't use his shield, my haunter will be gone. Let's let's use the shadow punch this time to bait down his shield. But unfortunately, he doesn't use his shield. Let's use the ice punch this time and finish him. He just uses shield. I'm not gonna use my. I'm gonna let it go. Haunter, I know he's gonna definitely go for the bulldoze. Let's bring out our V growth here and farm it down with the counter. Let's see, and that's. We have like also haunter. Let's over farm him a little bit and then go for the body slam to bait down his shield. I hope he uses shield. If he uses shield, we can easily win this match. Yep, he just uses shield. Yep, we got the bulldoze again, and we got the haunter. Let's switch to Macho directly and he say, "Oh, we have Lyron. Lyron is like weak against fighting an opponent. Just send her because you know can't win again. GG for us, Macho. Macho is like the as you can see like best finisher." As I told you, Dragon Eye versus Haunter again. As you can see, bad start. Let's use the Ice Punch directly. Fortunately, he just usually this time I go for the Shadow Punch, but he got my Haunter with the Dragon Breath. Let's bring out V Growth. Let's use the Shield because we have one Shield advantage. Let's overwhelm him and then go. As you can see, he got another Charge Move ready at CMP. That's like really bad for us. We just wasted all his energy on Dragon Eye. I shouldn't give him like Body Slam. And let's see what he have. He have like also. He like what are you going to? I thought he got the vigor. What are you going to? Let's use the shield here, and then go for the body slam. And if he uses his shield, then I'm gonna switch to my machoke here. Yeah, he just uses shield. Let's use like switch to machoke and give him like brick back. And one brick kid can knock him out, I think. Yeah, we got the body gone. Let's see what he have. He have like magni zone. So let's use the brick back again. I think this one can knock him out, or just a little bit survive. Yeah, he just a little bit just survive. And upon just surrender because you know can't win. GG for us guys. Moving on to next one, Haunter versus V Growth again. Good start. Use the. It's it's not definitely body slam, so not gonna waste shield on body slam. Got the ice punch, and ice punch can at least take it out 50% of his health. Yeah. And he just switched to dust club. Just to catch our move and the really right thing. I'm not gonna switch to my other Pokemon because I have like much of V growth on my team. So let's finish the dust off with my Haunter. And opponent just uses first shield. So so let's bring out first V growth here and give him like bulldoze. Let's see what he got. Not gonna use first shield here. It's in shadow punch. This time I'm gonna use my shield. It's a nice punch as you can see. He just bring his V growth, so let's take the first body slam and then switch to Chokey and farm it on his whole health with the Karate Chop. He got another body slam ready. He have the shield advantage. Let's see what he have. He have like Graveler, so let's give him like back to back brick break. Definitely gonna use his shield. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay, let's go for the brick break. And I'm gonna directly go for the bulldoze on Graveler. Because Gravelo's Rock Blast can knock out my V Growth here, so I'm gonna save my shield here. So we need only like one more Bulldoze to knock out Dust Club, and we got the Bulldoze. CMP tie, so again GG for us guys. Good game. Moving on to next one. Let's see what opponent have. It's Haunter versus Pillow Swine. It's a bad start for us because Pillow Swine got the Avalanche, and Avalanche can do lot of damage. And Haunter is like squishy. It doesn't use shield. Let's oh. I'm gonna use my shield and then switch to our V growth here. So far, and then switch to V growth and farm it down with the counter. Yep, we got like we give him like one shield. Let's see what he have. And he have like shadow dust clop. 
let's use the bulldozer i hope it doesn't use a shield yeah if it doesn't use a shield that's good let's see what you got ice punch definitely go for the ice punch it's over farming he just switched to his i don't know why he switched to his vigro let's give him like back to back body slam Got another body slam ready. Let's see. He's gonna use his shield. Or he's gonna let it go. As a new shield, let's bring out my choke and farm it down with the karate chop. Not gonna use shield. Let's see. Body slam. My choke can easily survive body slam. And you got another body slam ready. So this time, I'm gonna use my shield and farm it on his full health with the karate chop. And let's see what he bring. He just bring his dust club. So let's use the first brick back and then switch to haunter and lens. We got the shadow punch ready. And I hope one shadow punch can knock him out from this stage. And again, GG for us guys. Opponent just surrender. Moving on to next one. As you can see, this team is like really, totally effective in Evolution Cup. So guys, use this team. Another V growth. Let's go for the Ice Punch. He just uses shield. I'm gonna use my shield as well. Not gonna take risk. You go for the bulldoze. You have like Dust Clop, Shadow Dust Clop. Let's. See. Not gonna switch to my other Pokemon. Let's fight him with my Haunter. Got another shadow punch ready. Let's see how much damage he can do. Just a little bit, just survive. But he got another shadow punch ready. So I'm gonna let it go, my haunter here, and then bring out our V growth and farm it on his whole health with the counter. Mm, we have one shield. Let's see what he bring. He just bring his V growth also. So let's give him like back to back body slam. I hope he doesn't have like gold bed at the back because much of his like weak against wing attack. And I think opponent just surrender or something else. He does, he does really like Shadow Dragonite at the back. Let's use the body slam and switch to our Machoke. I'm gonna use my shield here and farm it down his health with the karate chop. So easy win, GG for us guys. It's like a really great team. So thanks to Dragon Art who suggested me this team. I'm going to next one. Haunt versus his Dragon Art. So let's use the Shadow Punch to bait down his shield. If you go for the shadow punch, so you can you can like deliver two shadow punch. If you try to farm my haunter with dragon breath, if if you go if we go for the ice punch, so you can deliver only one ice punch. And he switched to dust clop. He thought I go for the ice punch, but I go for the shadow punch to do massive amount of damage on dust clop. Let's bring out V growth, farm it on his health with the bulldozer. Let's see what you got. Definitely ice punch. So we'll farm him. Got another ice punch ready. You can see. Ice punch like really ready in like two three seconds. Let's open him and then go for the bulldoze. Oh, let's see what he bring. He have like V growth also. Let's use the body slam do neutral amount of damage. Let's switch to our machoke and farm it down with the karate chop. Now he's gonna switch to his dragon eh? to catch my move. Got the two brick break. Yeah, previous is the Yep, we got another big with I hope this one can knock him out. Just a little bit survive, guys. You can see that really bad for us. Just we grow that we have like one shield advantage. Let's farm it down with the counter. So he just got the body slam and I just sneak through one counter. And I'm gonna use my shield here and we just knock out the weak growth. So as you can see guys, really close battle. GG for us. Moving on to next one. Haunter versus Pillow Swine. Again, bad start. He just switched to Dusk Clock. I'm not gonna switch to my other Pokemon because I have like V Growth, Machoke, both are like super effective against Haunter. So both are like super effective super effective against Pillow Swine. So let's fight him with the Haunter. I'm gonna maintain the type advantage. You know, Dusk is like really bulky Pokemon and it's like difficult for Machoke and V Growth to take down Dusk So let's fight him with the Haunter here. And we almost take it out like 6 to 70 percent of his health, so it's not easy. We need only one bulldoze to knock out Dusk Hope we can deliver. We got another ice punch ready, really quick. Let's go farm a little bit and then go for the bulldoze here. As you can see, because of lag, I just do the great one. Let's see what he bring. He brings Machok also. So let's give him like back to back body slam. And one more body slam, but he just catch my move on pillow swine. But then also good, I have like Machok at the back. He doesn't know. Let's switch to our Machok and farm it on his full health with the Karate Chop. And like make the energy of dynamic punch and directly use on his opponent shiny machoke. Yeah, let's use the dynamic punch and we caught the dynamic punch and CMP ties so again. GG for us, guys. This seems like totally destruction in evolution cup. So that's all for today's video, guys. That's all for today's battle. Thanks for watching. Please do like, comment, share, and please subscribe to my channel.